Hi, AppSec engineers. In this video, we'll be looking at a very popular AWS security engineering interview question. And this question is, what services in AWS can you use to create a central logging solution? Let's get started and let's get started now. If you are working with AWS, one of the key things that you have to do within AWS is set up logging and monitoring. Now, logging and monitoring, while they may sound very similar or the same thing, they're very different things. Now, we're going to be looking at the question, what services within AWS can be used to create a centralized logging solution? And this is a very important aspect simply because you want to be able to capture logs and use those logs to be able to actually get some security data out of it, right? You want to be able to check whether somebody is potentially compromised your AWS account or whether somebody has potentially compromised one of your services or your applications that's been hosted on AWS. So all of this requires a one, a single input or a set of inputs, which is basically logs. Without logs, you are not going to be able to figure out what is happen to your environment, hence central logging solution. So we're going to be exploring this example in multiple questions as a bunch of sub questions, if you will. And that's what we're going to be using as the basis to actually explore this concept of how do we create a central logging solution in AWS using mostly or only AWS services. So the first question we need to ask ourselves is what is a central logging solution? What does that mean? Now, as the name suggests, central logging essentially means that all of your logs from different components and different services and so on are collected in a centralized environment, right? That's basically what this is. So in a typical on-prem environment, you have a logging server or a log management system that where uh, it receives or you have different systems pushing to this log management system and this log management system collects all of this and essentially performs some kind of enrichment activity on top of these logs. But the first thing for that to actually work is to have logs in a single place in a central environment or central set of components. That's basically what central log management is in the first place. So that's the first thing. Now, central log management is also going, one of the other major traits of central logging is basically retention, right? When you are logging things, you want to be able to retain them for a certain period of time. It, it's no use if you just retain a day or two old logs. It's kind of useless because you don't really have anything that you can do. Let's say a breach took place three months before. You don't really have any data to even look at what happened or how it happened or so on and so forth. So you need to have some kind of retention scenario within these logs. The other major, major trait of a central logging system is that it should be searchable. Without logging or logs being searchable, it's kind of pointless. It's just having a bunch of events and data that you can't really make anything, make any sense of. You have to be able to search and analyze these logs to be able to do something useful with them in that case. So one of the major traits of a central logging solution is searchability inside that particular solution. The other aspects of a central logging solution are more analysis driven. Now, this is kind of more in the monitoring side of the fence where you use central uh, logs and you, you are probably able to generate alerts. One of the big things that a lot of logging systems provide is the capability to alert you in the event of a potential compromise or in the event of a potential Something that is out of the ordinary, right? You might configure a system saying, okay, if my API throws a whole bunch of 400 errors, then you need to alert me. Or if uh, a user uh, is constantly, the, if the user is constantly th throwing up bad passwords or wrong passwords, then alert that uh, potential, let's say that's a potential brute force attack and so on. So that's basically the uh, generating alerts part of it. And another major aspect of central logging, and of course, it's, it's uh, upstream process, which is monitoring, is basically to have dashboards. Now, you would have probably seen these socks or these other major monitoring setups. You have all of these different dashboards and graphs and charts and so on. The reason they exist is that they provide a single view into the actual environment. And you can configure these graphs and dashboards and so on to be able to give you a snapshot of what's actually happening inside that environment. Right? That's another aspect of central logging that is also important. 
And of course, you need to have security alerts. Now, one of the key things that we're going to be talking about is largely related to security because it's a security engineering interview question. So central logging, like we've mentioned before and like we've seen so far, is all about having logs in the centralized place that you can use to actually enrich and analyze and use it for actually useful things like alerts and analysis and um, different uh, reacting to the event or uh, managing an incident or a potential event based on those central logs. And this is something that AWS, of course, like any other cloud provider, allows you to do. AWS has a bevy of services that can be used to perform this particular task. When it comes to central log management, let's look at the three major features that you need from centralized log management. The first thing is log ingestion, right? So this is essentially the part where the logs are consumed, right? So you have different components that probably have uh, some agents or may have some kind of uh, collectors and so on that collect these logs and push it to a particular component. So in AWS's case, it would typically be a CloudWatch or something like that, where these logs are ingested into this particular component of this particular service. So that's log ingestion. Then you have log indexing. Now, log indexing is basically an activity of converting that log into something queryable. In, uh, in a typical use case, so let's say you're using Elasticsearch or something like that to be able to uh, consume logs, you need to have an index in order to actually index that log in a way that you can actually query it. So let's say you only want to query security logs or error logs or error logs above a certain threshold or whatever log level or something like that, you need to be able to query it with some kind of a database query. It could be SQL, it could be some other type of querying language, but you need to be able to query it. And that is, for that to happen, you need to have log index, right? So that's log indexing for you as a feature that you need in a central log management system. And the third feature that you definitely need is visualization. Now, this is this is the part where logging is kind of left behind, but the logs are used as inputs to be able to visualize what's happening in an environment. So let's say, for instance, if you want to see where your traffic is coming from, let's say you add some kind of geo visualization, you can say that, okay, based on IP address or whatever it is, or based on certain latitude, longitude, you're able to visualize all of this. So you're essentially using logs as the input. Logs are still the input source. They're like database entries. And these input sources are used to, in, they're ingested and indexed so that they can be queried based on latitude, longitude, uh, IP address, or what have you. And then using that, you can create this beautiful map of where your traffic is coming from, right? So that is an example of visualization. So you also need visualization to actually complete that perspective of log management. On top of that, of course, you have multiple things. You have alerts, you have metrics, you have all of that stuff that you can do with a log management system. So that is, these are the three broad areas of centralized log management. And to be fair, you can do all of these things within and uh, the scope of AWS services itself. And that's what we'll be looking at next. Now let's get to the actual meat of the question, which is what are the different services that you can use in AWS to create a centralized logging solution? Now, just to be clear, we have explored this in a great deal of detail in our uh, class on essential AWS security monitoring within AppSec Engineer. You have a whole lot of labs around all of this stuff. You can, you can use that to actually learn about this in depth. But we're going to explore this in um, briefly just to make sure that we cover this aspect of the question. So let's start with the different AWS services that you can use to create that centralized logging solution. So the first one is CloudWatch, right? Now, CloudWatch is essentially a log management system. It is AWS's central log management system. All you have to do is start to create log groups and so on, and you can start ingesting logs from different AWS services. So let's say you have an EC2 server, or you have a whole bunch of EC2 servers, you can essentially start pushing logs into CloudWatch. Let's say you have Lambda functions, you can start pushing logs into CloudWatch. Let's say you have Elastic Beanstalk or any other computing environment, EKS, whatever it is, you can start pushing logs into CloudWatch. Now, CloudWatch is not only a log ingestion solution. CloudWatch can do a lot more than that. It can do, you can configure metrics, you can configure events, you can configure visualizations, you can do all of that stuff. But in essence, the one of the key foundational features of CloudWatch is basically that it's a log management system that allows you to do all of this stuff 
and it allows you to essentially push logs to begin with. Now, CloudWatch, granted, is not the easiest solution to use for some of the more advanced stuff that you want to do. Let's say you want to run advanced queries. You could do it, but it's not easy to work with as many other databases as you would see. But still, CloudWatch has all of these capabilities and more that allows it to become a full-fledged log management system. So that's CloudWatch for you. The second service that is essential from a centralized logging standpoint is CloudTrail. Now, CloudTrail is essentially the AWS control plane logs. These are just logs that are generated whenever you take any action on AWS. So let's say you create a new DynamoDB table, it, there, there's a log event for that. Let's say you create a new S3 bucket, there's a log event for that. You delete an S3 bucket, there's a log event for that. There are log events for anything that is happening on your AWS account, which is basically your AWS control plane, and that is captured in CloudTrail. Now, typically CloudTrail needs to be ingested into something else. So you typically what you do is create a filtered trail. So let's say I want to create a specific trail for all the KMS logs or the key management service logs that AWS generates and push that into an S3 bucket or push that into CloudWatch that you can do with CloudTrail, right? It has a whole bunch of features like, you know, uh, file integrity monitoring, encryption, and so on. In fact, we've covered all of this and more in our AppSec Engineer class on essentially AWS security monitoring. So you should definitely be checking this out if you have access to AppSec Engineer and if you have an account on AppSec Engineer. The other uh, thing that you can do with CloudWatch, of course, as I mentioned, is pretty much it behaves like a complete log management system, right? CloudWatch can do uh, metrics, so which means that you can say that, okay, based on this type of metric, I need to trigger an alert or you can capture visualizations or you can set up alarms. You can do dashboarding. You can search for it. CloudWatch, in fact, has its own um, querying uh, language and query interface that you can use to actually query for different log events and different types of uh, events that you have. You can set retention periods on CloudWatch. You can do all of that stuff right within CloudWatch itself. However, in many cases, you see that we have incident response teams that are familiar with a different step. So for instance, a lot of incident response teams tend to use um, Elasticsearch Logstash and Kibana. That's a very popular logging and monitoring system that a lot of teams are used to. So what happens then is that you typically tend to use this or you typically tend to kind of focus on this. So in what happens there is that you will have to push these logs into Elasticsearch or OpenSearch. So Amazon has its own Elasticsearch service called OpenSearch, and you can do visualizations on top of it. And you can use that instead of CloudWatch. So you can still get CloudWatch logs, but you can ingest them and index them into Amazon OpenSearch service or using Amazon Kinesis or Firehose, I mean, Kinesis Firehose or Kinesis Data Streams and so on. You can do visualizations. You can do a lot of uh, transformations using Amazon Lambda and things like that. So these are some of the more advanced use cases. If you have something that you really want to, you know, if you're already familiar with Elk or if you're familiar with some other logging stash, you can put it into that logging environment and you can start leveraging that. Within Amazon itself, you typically have CloudWatch and CloudTrail, which become like the basic services that you can use to do all of this stuff and more. In the next part of this video, the last part of this video, I am going to be focusing on actually covering an example that you will see that kind of gives you a very good idea of this whole centralized log management. In fact, this is an example that Amazon themselves have put out as part of their documentation and you can actually find it publicly available within their documentation itself. So we're going to be exploring this as a case study of sorts in a little bit. This is actually a very interesting case or a very interesting visualization that you have that Amazon itself has provided as part of their uh, documentation to explain the different AWS services that you can use for centralized log management. Like I said, uh, the first thing, of course, uh, very interesting thing is that they've used a whole bevy of services to do this. Now, depending on whether you want it to be this way or not, you can choose or not choose any of these services. It doesn't mean you have to choose all of these services, but there are a few services that are essential to this process. So let's talk about some of these services. So let's start with the two foundational essential services that you have. You have your CloudWatch and you have CloudTrail. And you, you've seen that they've divided it into different accounts. Now, this is also very useful, especially if you have a multi-account AWS setup, right? So if you have a multi-account AWS setup, one of the recommendations is to have a separate account only for logging 
and monitoring the other AWS accounts that are under these the the parent account, right? So this is one of the recommendations that you have. So that's a good thing to do. So you'll see that the foundational services are your CloudWatch and CloudTrail. You have your different services pushing logs into CloudWatch, and you of course have all of your control plane logs in CloudTrail. Now, in this case, in the in this example, they've also started to use additional solutions. Now, obviously, those additional solutions are used to accommodate some level of complexity that you need. Now, to be perfectly fair, there is an entire, it's entirely possible that you just rely on CloudWatch and CloudTrail and that's it. You don't need to do anything more. But a lot of teams essentially want to be able to do this with stacks that they're aware of. And one of these stacks that they're obviously aware of more than others is open search, which is also called Elasticsearch, right? So Elasticsearch is the actual uh, database that they use, but Amazon has their own fork of it, which is called open search. And that's why, and they don't want to use the term Elasticsearch because I think there are some issues with the main Elastic brand itself. So what they're doing here is they're pushing these logs into Kinesis data streams. Now these are streams that are meant to ingest and um, transform data, right? So they push it into these streams that are processed by Lambda, and Lambda essentially uses different transformations and then pushes that into open search. You can also push this into S3, right? One of the things you can actually do is just manage a lot of these logs directly out of S3. In fact, you have services like Athena. In fact, if you see uh, AppSec Engineers classes, we cover Athena because it's in many cases, that's all you need for actually querying the logs. You can actually query it directly from S3 and so on. So it's really powerful stuff. But in this case, what they've done is they've used open search and they're visualizing using Elasticsearch product or open search product, which is Kibana, which is also a very powerful visualization tool. So this is an example of centralized logging because you have different accounts and they're all pushing it to this single source, which is your open search service. They're doing transformation using Kinesis data streams and Firehose. And then in fact, they're using open search and Kibana to visualize the actual elements that are uh, the logs are generated from, right? So. These are some things that you can do within AWS. Of course, this is a pretty large scoped example, as you can see, and I'm not getting into this specific example. But like I said, the foundational services really are CloudWatch, CloudTrail. And on top of that, depending on the kind of need that you have, you can layer on and bolt on a lot of other things to make your uh, job easier or make your team's job easier, depending on how you like it. I have seen a lot of teams just manage with CloudWatch and CloudTrail itself. I've also seen teams that manage with third-party solutions. So let's say they have Datadog or something like that. They might push it into that and that might uh, be the right uh, mechanism for them to do centralized logging. But this is entirely possible entirely within AWS's service. So that's the idea of this example that I wanted to demonstrate. So AppSec engineers, that brings us to the end of this video. In this video, we covered security engineer interview questions. What are the services that you can use to create a centralized logging solution on AWS? And remember, we talk about all this with, of course, our classic hands-on labs in our class, which is AWS Security Monitoring Essentials. We talk about CloudWatch, we talk about CloudTrail, we look at different examples and hands-on scenarios in which you can set up logs and log groups in CloudWatch, you can set up uh, cloud trail, you can do file integrity monitoring. We have labs around alerts and metrics and all of that stuff as well. So we cover a lot of this in detail in AppSec Engineer. So if you don't have an AppSec Engineer subscription, you want to learn about this stuff and other major AWS topics that we constantly release content on, you should consider getting a subscription to AppSec Engineer because that will really help you uh, cement all of these concepts in terms of your understanding of AWS security. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in another one of ours. Thank you very much.